it is Erin or Gimme Yarn 418 and this is Thank God It's Finished. It's been a couple weeks since I've made a video. Uh, Dewey apparently wants to say hello, but that's okay. Um, he's laying under the table. I have a lot of finished objects, a couple whips, so let's get right into it. Life has been pretty good. I, ca I can't really complain. So, my last video I was asking you all what I should do with that metallic yarn. And I got a lot of good feedback about it, but um, I decided to knit a pattern from Rebecca Danger's Knit a Monster Nursery book. Uh, are they on the cover? Let me find them. And I knit the monster bookends. And I put a bag of rice in the bottom of them, and I striped them with another sport weight yarn. This yarn says it's a uh, number four, and it's not a number four in my opinion. Uh, anyway, so here is the first one with the green and some black, and I love the blue eyes on them. I think they're very fitting. I can't wait to put these up in the studio. And I knit one also in the purple with white. I like how they came out. They're nice and hefty with the yarn in the bottom, I mean the rice in the bottom, and making these... Um, gave me an idea for another video that's not like knit and crochet progress video uh, but about some items that I consider craft items that are in my studio so stay tuned for that in the near to distant future I guess is the best way I can say it um, my next finished object is amazing it was one of my goals for the year and I finished the three cross stitch projects I had going for the studio and they I just had to take them down off the wall. I am uber happy with them. They are by no means perfect, but they're perfect for me. So they hang on the staircase up to the studio. I'd take a picture, but I've tried a few times and they just don't they don't come out because of the angle of the studio. The next thing I finished is a pay for pattern on Ravelry. I cannot even begin to pronounce the name of the hat, um, and I forgot to bring a foam head down, but this is it. This is for a Christmas gift. It's knit out of Liberty Wool. I can put it on with my ponytail, I guess. I love how it came out. My dogs aren't going to cooperate, but, um, and it used, I mean, I had inches of the ball left, so Liberty Wool is a worsted weight yarn, and it, um, stripes by itself. The next finished object I have, um, is the Emily Henley that I've been working on. It's a paper pattern, I believe it's on Knit Picks. Kristen gave it to me for Christmas. Um, it's knit out of some, I don't know what it's knit out of. Uh, it's on my Ravelry page. It's a Valley Yarns. Yarn, it's a sport weight yarn, it's 100% wool. That's about all I can think of. Um, this is the sweater that all the yarn for the sweater was $22. I love how it came out. I will be wearing this later, but right now it's still quite damp from being blocked. I just picked it up off the floor to show you all. So, that's finished. And the last thing I finished is. I'm calling it finished, although I do need to pick up some buttons for it this weekend. This is out of Wool of the Andes Bulky Superwash, and it's the little red riding slippers. And here they are. Um, I'm pleased with how they came out, but I wouldn't be sad if I didn't have to ever make another pair. I don't like seaming things together. I know, it's wah wah about me, but that's okay. What do I have for works in progress? Um, there's no progress on a lot of things. The spectra is in exactly the same spot, so I won't bother pulling that out. The opal of my eye socks, I have one done, which I am pretty sure you've seen, and I'm ready to do the heel on the second one. Okay. And that's out of opal. And it's color 5094. 
I don't think I don't think you can get this colorway anymore. I think I got it on a Simply Sock Yarn Uber sale. My last work in progress is, believe it or not, cross stitch. I showed you two projects that I'd like to work on this year. Um, if I don't finish them, that's okay. I started the handcrafted alphabet sampler, and I finished, with the exception of the back stitching, the first block, which is A for applique, and I've done a little bit more of the back stitching. I'm actually quite enjoying this, believe it or not. So that's how much I have. But that's that's going to be put on the back burner for a little bit because I am heading into my busy season for um, you know netting for hire, crocheting for hire, and I don't have much time to devote to that. Um, what am I going to be doing next? I for the hat along still want to make. Hold on, I'm going to try and show you on my phone. The the fish hat. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. I also need to knit two monsters for gifts. I need to finish Max's stocking. Um, I would like to make this dress for my niece, but I need to acquire the yarn for it because it's done in a, a sport weight yarn. And I, I like it in the tonal. And then I also, I'm sure in the near future, will be starting another sweater. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, what is new? One thing I forgot to bring down, so I'll have to show it to you next time. Let me just make a note of that. Um, I got a package from Bruno, and I got this awesome shirt in it when he went to London. I actually asked him to pick it up for me. And I got a really cute card, too. I should go get it. I, I will get it. This is a, a card. Isn't that adorable? It's on my fridge. And he sent me this beautiful yarn. It's West Yorkshire Spinners Signature 4-ply. It's 75% uh, wool, 25% nylon, and 35% of the wool is BFL. I think that... Um, I think that... Terry Tinsel... <laughs> Stop! had yarn from the same company. So here it is. It's really beautiful. Um, I'm not sure when... I Sometimes I like to let my yarn live with me for a little while before I knit it because it's just so pretty. So thank you so much, Bruno. I also got two skeins. This is not from Bruno, but... Um, of opal sock yarn in sweet and spicy too. I don't know if it's sweet too, spicy too. I don't know. Um, I got the watermelon color, which that's what the socks will... I, I should know how to operate this camera by now. I've been doing this for three years. And I got the blueberries color. Which I have a sneaking suspicion Kristen will claim for herself because all her socks are blue. No, they're not true. That's not true. Um, but she does she does love blue. So that's what I got new. Um, the hat along is still going on, and uh, we have so many people posting um, items. I'm so excited about it. Um, so far we have two prizes. We might be up to three, I'm not sure. One's going to be a sheet project bag from Kathy. And another is a pattern from Zoe, for one of her hat patterns. So you have until the end of the month to post those. I got a package in the mail the other day, but I'm not sure who it's from. If this is you, and you could let me know through private message on Ravelry or YouTube for the charity drive, I got these two beautiful hats. I got this nice red one. Oh my goodness. 